the twilight of the Golden Age, before the Civil War on planet Cybertron led to catastrophic system failure, marked increases in crime and substance addiction are symptoms of collapse. Prisoner transport Verado on final approach. Roger, Verado. Docking protocol initiated. You are cleared for landing. <laughs> Extending docking clamps. There's another one coming in on the ship. He knows too much. Welcome to Garrus 9, prisoners. Step lively. The usual denomination of credits have already been added to your account. Strip him to the spark and lose his parts. Like all the others. Warden, sir. Transport Verada is offloading now, sir. Contact me when it's taken care of. Very well, Sergeant. Inform the lab. Tell Elrond to get the chair ready. I'll be sending some of them straight down for packaging. And the next time you enter my office unannounced, I'm going to have them set up a drawer for you right next to them. Y yes sir Dismissed. What's wrong with this one? Another burnout. Uploading some kind of new street narcotic into his processors. He tried to jack a Senate Energon transport all by himself. Almost made it too. That little part? I hear it took half a squadron to get the clamps on him. I'll be slagged. The sector magistrate sentenced him on the spot to rehabilitation here. They don't pay to mess with the big boy's salary. I just need a fix. My circuits are burning up. You'll get your fix. Down in rehab. Now move. Marauder security sweep complete. You are clear for departure. Roger that tower. See you all next cycle. Check in complete. Lockdown engaged. Prisoners debark platform and fall in. Don't be shy, gents. Line up against the wall and I'll be right with you. Slaying flares. What's that flicker? Magnetic discharge again, sir. Try and clear it out. The old man is in a mood today. Send this bunch right down to rehab after check-in. Doc says he's got a full house down there now. Got room for two at the most. Better get the junkie down first. If Doc can fix him, fine. If not, he can bag him up and be done. Warden always wants to get them crated up ASAP. Rather than wasting supplies on a burnout, send him down. And that rock cruncher there. We'll put the rest in the hold. Yes, sir. Halt. Force field coming down. Clear the door. Are you kidding? How much more clear can I get? In here. Door secured. Howdy, cellmate. How's the weather up there? I mean, outside. Not that you're some kind of freaking giant. Sunny. Extremely sunny. Sunny, huh? Good. Sunny's good. Name's Diecast. Doing a double horn for larceny. I've scammed bots across 16 moons and on seven plates right here back home. <laughs> That's what I get for trucking through Icon. This place is mostly empty right now. They've been on a kick to pack everybody into the faults these last few cycles. I'm up for psych eval. Got what's left of 20 brims to figure out whether or not to strip me down for the vault. So, what are you in for, one eye? The simplest answer would be the combination of naivety and patriotism. And would a less simple answer carry any actual information? I was a resource analyst for the Autobot High Council. Come on, no fooling? Indeed. I had been commissioned to advise high-ranking political leaders in matters of varying importance. The upkeep of vertical highways along the Sea of Light, disposal of hazardous waste products in Voss, the best methods of crystal ore extraction on off-world mining facilities. It was on the latter of these assignments that I began to notice extreme discrepancies between my recommendations and the course of action taken. What the? Behave normally. I estimate the god will pass by in less than 0.6 breams. I require raw materials to properly attend to my injury. 
At first, I calculated that somehow I had misinterpreted the demands of the situations, missed a larger picture. I pried further into the tasks that I had performed in order to diagnose the flaw in my processing, but this was not the case. The more I researched, it became evident that typically the outcomes had been opposite to that of my counsel. Economically detrimental, socially destabilizing, environmentally hazardous. The common denominator in these outcomes, my employers had attained staggering personal profit. As I said, I am a patriot. In all I do, I strive to achieve only what is best for Cybertron. In essence, I instructed them in how to achieve the opposite. I prepared a case to be presented to the Autobot High Council, a docket of the most damning evidence. In the end, it condemned only me. You seem like a fellow who would fit right in where I'm headed. I presume you are referring to the vaults. There's a movement going on, on the outside, in places like Kaon. Bots like you and me, down on our luck, or just plain in the way. I'm talking about revolution, friend. You don't look like a Decepticon. Ain't that the whole point? You don't look like a resource analyst. But I bet that brain of yours could power Nova Chrono. Look here. See? It pays not to advertise. If they knew about this, they'd throw me right into the vault for sure. But if I can hold out, well, any time now, I'm expecting some visitors. And when they leave, I plan to be with them. I'm aware that my features do not display it, but I assure you that I remain skeptical. Hey, relax. It's like I said. Sunny is always a good sign when you got friends in high places.